my dearest Libras, and welcome to your April weekly tarot love reading for the week of March 30th up until April the 5th. Now remember that energies are fluid, so they won't culminate until the seventh day of this week. Okay, so I've received messages sometimes telling me that, oh my God, you know, this actually happened, but not until the last day. So be patient with the energies. Remember, they are fluid. Okay, so without further ado, thank you so much for your support, for supporting this channel. And I'd like to take the time also to thank my spirit guides, my angel source energy for bringing in any messages that you are currently seeking at this moment to give you clarity clarity, guidance in order to help you on your journey towards peace, love, happiness, and abundance. Okay, so energies are interchangeable. Um, remember that this is just a general reading, so take it as it resonates. Okay, and without further ado, let's jump into your spread. Now, remember that this could be for your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus, check to see if maybe this is the sun, moon, rising Venus of the person that you are dealing with as well. Um, and maybe if I'm not talking about your energy, it could be that I'm talking about the energy that you are currently dealing with, okay? The person or the situation at hand. But without further ado, let's jump into your spread. So the dominant energy for your spread this week, my dear Libras, is the... Queen of Cups. Wow, beautiful energy. Okay, so with the Queen of Cups here starting off your week, my dear Libras, this is talking about an energy where it could be you or the person that you are dealing with. This week you are feeling very peaceful in your emotions. There's an energy and essence of serenity, peace, quiet within. Okay, so within yourself, you feel great. You feel like... You are at ease, you know, your, your, your energies and your emotions are stable, all right? So we'll see exactly what's going on. So what situation are you dealing with? Seven of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, so this is someone that is trying to avoid paying for the consequences of what they have done, okay? Now, if this is your energy, then that's you. But if this is the energy of the person that you are dealing with, then that's how they are feeling, okay? So you're dealing here with an energy this week of a person who um, needs to deal, face the facts, face um, something having to do with you know, uh, a very inconsistent kind of energy, maybe an energy that uh, tried to get away with something in the past. And, you know, now the consequences are here this week, either for this person or this is something that you are dealing with yourself. Okay, now let's go ahead and see what the challenge is for you. So challenging you this week, we have here the death card. Okay, yeah, so definitely. Maybe you want to put an end to something. Maybe a person or the person that you are dealing with wants to put an end to the situation at hand, but definitely there is an essence here where there is a challenging energy of wanting to put an end to something. Something needs to change. Something needs to transform. Something needs to give rise to something new, something more pure, something more expansive. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what you have here for your beliefs this week. So for your beliefs this week, you have here the six of wands. So with the six of wands ruling your beliefs this week, my dear Libras, this is an energy of, you know, you feel like something will happen in the way that you want. Okay. Something will pan out in the way that you envisioned it. Something will work out in your favor. You will receive the accolades. You will receive, you know, the thank you, the, um, the attention that you want. Okay. So it's either you or the person that you are dealing with. This is your belief. So it's sort of like an essence of, yes, I'm going to do this because I see potential within this, that sort of situation. Okay. But now let's go ahead and jump into um, the root of the issue and your distant past. And here we have the five of wands in the reverse. Now with the five of wands in the reverse, I'll show you, okay, as a root of the issue, we have here someone in the past trying to avoid conflict, trying to avoid some kind of, um, coming apart because of either competition or just a competitive kind of energy that you and this person had with each other, okay? There was a lot of arguing, a lot of a hostility, um, you know, that you were trying to avoid in the past, but it looks like someone got caught, someone just, you know, got caught with their hand inside the cookie jar and 
they will be paying for the consequences this week. Wow, I wonder what that is. Let me know in the comments below, okay? So let's go ahead and see what you have for your near past. Yeah, so for your near past you have here the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Now with the Eight of Pentacles ruling your near past, this is talking about an energy that uh, was kind of like giving, uh, for a lack of a better word, excuse the language, half-assed uh, sort of um, effort, right? Effort, we'll quote that. Um, not putting in a lot of effort into a connection. Uh, maybe they they would tell you, you know, or promised you that they were going to give you the world, but really, you know, their efforts were just BS. It was just not exactly what you wanted, not what you wanted at all, okay? Now, this could also be you. If this is your energy, then maybe you didn't feel like you wanted to put in the effort into this connection. You just did not feel enthusiastic about it, and you were like, you know what? Let me just kind of like um, chill out for a little bit. I don't want to put any more effort into this. Okay. This is the past energy. So let's see what you have for your near future. Yeah. So for your near future, what you have here is the Knight of Pentacles. So for the Knight of, with the Knight of Pentacles here being in the, your near future, you know, you might be getting finally an offer of solidity. Okay. There, there is an offer here either being made or being received by someone that actually wants something stable. All right. Maybe you did cut off this connection. Maybe you stopped putting in the work, stop putting in the effort, and finally it's going to come in. Okay, so there's that kind of energy. Now, again, this is the slowest moving night of the of the tarot. However, it's the one that holds the most potential. So even though it might be a slow process that you're gonna have to be patient with, uh, it looks like you're willing. You're willing to to be patient because you know exactly what you want out of this connection. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into your um, self-perception and for your self-perception here this is how you um, sort of like um, it's like your subconscious thoughts right your subconsciousness that you may be unaware of either either they play out in dominating your actions that you take and that you are unaware of but definitely you know you have this energy of wanting to be fulfilled emotionally you want everything you want the emotional fulfillment you want the emotion the excuse me the stability you want the uh, stability in the connection you want the commitment okay so your driving force is that of commitment and partnership you want a partnership you want but you want it to be real you don't just want it to be surface level you're done with that if you've been dealing with that in the past now you want a real bond a real connection okay so this is very good uh, as far as like dominating your subconscious because this is very, very positive energy. You know, if, if this is what you have in your subconsciousness and that means that that is going to rule your actions and your manifestations. So it's very likely that your manifestations will start coming together this week. However, it'll be a slow process, okay? Now let's go ahead and see what you have here for your outside influences and how others perceive you or how you perceive others. Yeah, so you have the tower moment here. Either you created this tower moment or the person created this tower moment, but definitely it was a breaking apart. Maybe this person feels like you messed everything up, you you blew everything out of proportion, or maybe you see this person as this, right? As this tower moment, sort of like they blew everything out of proportion. They made this tower moment come apart. They made this connection come apart. Come apart. Something having to do um, with the universe having its hand at play. You know, when you re resist too much a conflict, and Libras are known to want to compromise all the time. You know, you rule the scales. You want it to be a balanced connection. However, a lot of times it's not in your um, favor to try and save the connection every time, you know, like there's always, um, the other influence, right? The influence that you are dealing with and how they are behaving in the connection as well. You can't just save the connection every time. You can't be their savior all the time. Take it as it resonates. Maybe this is the person that you are dealing with that constantly try to save the connection, constantly try to work things out. And maybe one person got tired of it and was like, you know what? let things happen however they, they have to happen, you know? And so the universe came in and played their hand however they wanted to play it and broke this connection apart, but all for the better, right? So that this can have a more stable foundation, whether it's just for you individually or for this connection itself, all right? So let's go ahead and see what your action advice is, yeah. So for your action advice is, yeah, maybe things didn't work out with this person or with the situation. However, you know, there's still two cups left here. There's still 
potential there there will still be more opportunities coming your way so you have to be aware that you cannot focus on the past and what didn't work out focus on what is to come okay there is a brand new day as long as you have it's sort of like you're playing poker right if you're playing poker you still have one chip left and you have a seat in on the table then you still have a likely chance to win right so just recognize the fact that you're still alive, you're still here, and there's potential for you to create the life that you want, okay? Maybe if that connection did not work out, it's okay. You know what? A new one will, will come about. Make sure to focus on what you truly want, right? Focus on this 10 of cups. Focus on the fact that you want something more, um, with more stability and more um, substance, all right? And that will manifest into your reality but stop focusing on the past and what did not work now if this is not you and this is the person that you are dealing with and the person that you are dealing with needs to start focusing on the fact that they can renew this connection or they can renew their lives in in a better way right and stop focusing on what did not work out in the past okay so let's go ahead and see what you have here for your likely outcome yeah for your likely outcome you have here the six of pentacles in the reverse yeah so if you stay stuck in this in this energy of feeling sorry for yourself oh poor me you know uh, victim mentality i'm not saying that you know what they did wasn't um you know cruel or whatever if that's how you see it but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they do to you. What matters is how you can recover from the situation. And if you want something better and you know that this person is not, not for you, then guess what? death card here you need to cut things out all right and this is all coming together this week it seems like you will be making a decision this week okay some kind of um decision but it looks like there will be a, a very very good outcome you have very positive um thoughts in your in your belief system and you have you have uh the ten of cups in your subconsciousness so that means that you know you you are looking out for yourself and you are looking out to get fulfillment your wish fulfillment okay so yeah but definitely focus on the future otherwise you will still be coming across um with situations that are out of balance all right now if you are dealing with a situation that is a third party that person is dropping the third party or you need to drop the third party in order for there to be a more balanced more um stable connection okay take it as it resonates so let's go ahead and jump into your clarifier. So what is a clarifier for the six of pentacles in the reverse, please? And thank you. All right. So clarifying the six of pentacles as your likely outcome, we have here the page of wands and the ten of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so definitely there is something that you need to learn or this person that you are dealing with needs to learn in order to proceed forward in a more stable connection. The reason why this connection is not stabilizing itself is because there is an immature kind of energy someone is taking immature action you know um maybe someone started something too soon maybe you guys try to rush into some kind of form of st stability when when in reality you guys need to work other things out you guys need to actually sit down talk about your what each of you guys want for the future and and start that way right it's sort of like baby steps but if you try to rush in it's likely not going to work okay so don't rush into anything try to take your time uh, and try to learn something there's something that you need to learn or that this person needs to learn uh, in order to to proceed in a more practical kind of way okay so let's go ahead and see why your advice card is the five of cups okay so here we have yeah definitely the ace of uh, of swords and the king of pentacles in the reverse so you know for your advice card there is definitely some truth that you have to come to terms with there's some kind of revelation some kind of truth some kind of um decision that you need to make uh that will bring clarity all right and you also need to own your worth this person here does not feel their worth whoever there is a person in here in this connection that is that feels not like you're not worthy to receive what it is that you want right so you know you have to come into alignment with your worthiness this is something that i always have to talk to my clients about you know if they say you know well why is this not manifesting why is this my my wish not coming true if i'm tr you know focusing on on all of the affirmations every morning well because something within you does not feel worthy enough to receive it right it's sort of like if you finally get the offer the perfect offer that you want 
and you suddenly don't know what to do with it. You're like, oh my God, it actually happened. So be careful what you wish for. Just make sure that you come into clarity, right? Into alignment with what it is that the truth of this situation is, the truth of the matter, and you will come into alignment with yourself, all right? That will give you the power, the strength to believe in yourself and believe in your desires being able to come true, okay? So let's go ahead and see what it is that this um, Knight of Pentacles is for your near future. Okay, so we have here the Nine of Swords, and let me get one more. All right, Nine of Swords and Temperance. Yeah, definitely an energy of patience, okay? You are able to compromise. You will be able to work things out. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. It does not have to be. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. It does not have to be any of the signs. I see all of the signs here. But, um, you know, either way, this is going to be a slow process, you guys, okay? Whether it's just you getting out of a situation, you will need to heal yourself. You need patience in order to compromise with this person, with this situation, or just within yourself, okay? Find that balance, that serenity within yourself. Stop fearing the worst. If you are right now sitting down and thinking the worst things that are going to happen, stop it. Just you know, say it out loud. Stop. This is not who I am. Stop. These are not my thoughts. These thoughts do not belong to me. Say that out loud. I'm serious. It literally works. And something happens where energetically you stop those thoughts and start thinking positively. Start focusing on what it is that you do want, what you prefer, not what you don't want, right? So all of these sleepless nights can finally go away and you will receive that compromise either within you or with this person that you have been searching for. All right, so let's go ahead and get an angel card for you before finishing your reading. What is the angel card for my dear Libras this week, please? And thank you. Okay, look at this. Clairvoyance. What a beautiful, beautiful card and message. Look at this. So this is clairvoyance. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so that you can clearly see heavenly love. Wow, this is such a beautiful reading. Okay, so this is clairvoyance, you know, this is Angel Raziel. And remember that the angels are helping you on your spiritual side, on your spiritual journey to awaken yourself fully so that you can receive the love that you deserve, the love that you really truly want. Okay, so pay attention to any signs, any signals that you receive from the heavens above. Pay attention to any messages, maybe sounds, maybe just staying quiet in stillness, in meditation, and see what it is that you pick up on. But definitely, this is such a beautiful reading. Focus on yourself, focus on your future, and you will get the offer that is meant for you. Okay, so let me know if this resonated in the comments below. But without further ado, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>